We're over here in uh, Brandon, Florida, at Brandon Signs. My friend Tom here, the owner, is uh, he just got a, uh, a new to him uh, shop bot PRT, 48 by 96. And we're going to install some uh, cable management system parts on it today. Here are some of the parts that I made for this. You can look at them here. This is the the chain that is actually going to hold the cable. We got one for the Y axis and the other one for the X axis. And we've also uh, got some uh, pieces that were machined out of uh, 6061 T6. These are going to support the the cable carrier. And uh, these are the stops I made for the rack system to keep the table from running off. And here are some other pieces that are going to use to be to support the uh, cable carrier system. And this is the header piece that actually attaches to the chain. And this is the, the tail pieces. They got two separate ones. One will fit out here on, on this end of the uh, gantry. And the other one will fit over here on this end. You'll see that once it becomes uh, a reality. This will show you some of the parts that I cut out for the cable carrier system. I actually cut these on my shop bot. This shows you the adjustment nut. You can slide that up and down the rod if necessary. Now we just lay down a piece of uh, vinyl for the cable carrier to lay on as it uh, moves back and forth. And uh, these will have some small holes drilled in it and uh, put a tie tie in it just to hold it in place. Doesn't really take much. Now we just laid the cable carrier down in place. And what we've got to do now is to uh, attach the end pieces on the base end here and then on the tail end out at the other side of your gantry. We now have the Y axis cable carrier installed. And uh, still got to put a few little screws in there and a couple of tie ties to hold this support board down. I think we'll be fine. We put uh, a couple holes in there and, and ran a tie tie down to stabilize the, the board. Now I secured the, the base unit to the uh, track, and everything should be fine now as far as the y axis is concerned. Got the Y axis moving as it should. Next thing we did was to install the support for the X carriage, and we haven't finished mounting this yet. But this is the cable carrier, this will be the head end of it. This is the x-axis cable carrier. Still have to hold it down, make some adjustments, install the wires, that type of thing. Here's the tray that uh, supports it. 
notches out to the end. Should work pretty nice. You now have all the cables installed in the cable carriers. We got rid of the rat's nest that was underneath the table. All the wires got those organized. We've got two cables here we have yet to hook up. One of them is for the Z-axis limit switch. And the other one will be utilized for the uh, X laser on the machine. Here's a better view of the Y-axis dissociated brackets that I made for it. These brackets, the height is adjustable on these. Just loosen the set screw and you can raise that uh, table up or down. Well, we got the wires uh, tidied up quite a bit and uh, all the E chains are working. Necessary brackets. The Y axis. Box switches set up. This is a Z-axis box switch. Where the switch gets down to this uh, extended piece of angle line, it'll turn on the box. We have one other option that we're going to install, and that is a X laser for setting the X Y zero on parts and we'll discuss that at a later time. We've also got the wire run for it and that should work fine. And this is a quarter cable router. It's got a super PID speed controller set for this. It'll uh, run speeds as low as 5,000 and up to full speed of the router, which I think is about uh, 25,000. This is a little plexiglass box I built for the Super PID. You can see inside there has a computer power supply. It needs uh, 12 volts to operate it, so I chose to use that. And it's got a little toggle switch on the side here that will turn it off and on, the router. And then there's a knob down at the bottom that actually uh, is a very, with a variable speed. I'm going to put one other switch in this box. It has to do with a laser light, similar to that little yellow toggle switch and it will turn the, the laser on and off. And this is from my friend uh, Tom at Brandon Signs. Uh, he seems to be pretty excited about it. He's real happy to have his uh, new PRT up and running properly.